when is the best time for visiting Cuba? We're gonna be talking about that, but let me first park the moto and we're gonna be talking about that. You wanna see a Cuban park station like this one? Check this out. Let's go back home. So when is the best season or time for visiting Cuba? First of all, in Cuba we have two seasons. Low season, which is summer, and the high season, which is the Cuban winter. Why people come to Cuba in winter? Because winter in Europe, Canada, which are, you know, the main countries or areas that are visiting us, is pretty, pretty, pretty freezing. But in Cuba, it's almost summer. In Cuba, we don't have winter at all. We are almost in February, and look at me. This is a church, and you know, some sometimes we have like, I don't know, 20 degrees, 21, 23, but that's not freezing at all. You're gonna feel the wind sometimes, but that's nothing. And that's why people come here looking for the Cuban winter. The problem with this is that if you come looking for the beautiful beaches, uh, you're not gonna see that beautiful beach that normally you see in pictures because it's not exactly the same when you come in summer. Why? Because in winter they have, I mean the beaches have like waves and you know it's completely different. If you come in summer, which is the low season, you're gonna see the beaches beautiful, like you know, wow, wow. These beautiful beaches that you're gonna touch and you wanna be swimming and you wanna be with your couple, with your friends and you know, this, this vibe. But the problem is that in summer in Cuba, sometimes we have 40 degrees and the humidity is 80%. You're gonna be sweating all the time. And if you have curly hair like me, you're gonna be like sweating like a lion. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. So you don't wanna be like that. That's why many people come in winter. Now the problem with this is that the summer is the, you know, the cheapest option. You're gonna find better prices, better options in terms of, you know, accommodation and this stuff. And in winter is a little bit more pricey. The other thing that many people come looking for is that in winter in Cuba, we have some cool parties because, you know, the Cuban culture, we dance, we go to outside and we play some dominoes. I mean, you're gonna see that in Cuba uh, most of the times, but it's not the same that in winter. In December, we have this cool patty, uh, you know, at the end of the year, and we make some caldosas, and the party are completely different, and there's too many people who visit Cuba looking for that vibe. I wanna see the Cuban culture. I wanna go to Cuba, I wanna get inside the community. I wanna see how did I live. I wanna see how did they, you know, cook that Cuban food, all this stuff. And that's part of the winter. If you come in summer, hmm, it's not exactly the same. Normally in summer, that's the time when the locals, when we, the Cubans, we go to the beaches and woof, it's super extremely complicated. The beaches are extremely busy. There are too many people walking around and you have to be watching your bags, your clothes, because sometimes somebody can steal it. So it's kind of uh, frustrating, but that's it. It really depends about you. It really depends about what is the best option for you. If you have the budget for coming in winter or if you're looking for a chips option and summer is gonna be the best. If you're traveling with your family, if you have already a plan, it, it doesn't work like, hey, I wanna go in winter. It doesn't work like that. You need to make a pre-plan and I can help you with it. So if you wanna know more about it, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash and right there, you can, you're gonna have my services and I can help you to handle all this kind of mm, frustrating situation. Whew. What do you think? So let's go deeply. When is summer section or the summer season or the lowest season in Cuba and the high one? Well, the lowest season in Cuba is from June to until um, September. That's the cheapest and the low season in terms of uh, tourism right here in Cuba. And the high season is, you know, the expensive one, is from September, October, November, until February, which is right now almost. As I said, you're in Cuba, you're not gonna see winter, but you're gonna see many, many people wearing some jackets, but 
don't get confused. That's the Cuban culture because in Cuba we don't have winter, but we need to show off what do we have because we want to. If you would love getting more tips about, you know, Cuba, when is the best time to come. If you would love getting more tips, there are previous videos in this playlist over here that maybe are gonna be useful for you, like uh, the Cuban currency, the capital in Cuba, how is Cuba, you know, doing right now, all this situation. If you love podcasts, you can go and check the I'm Queensland podcast. In this podcast, I'm always giving you tips, telling you how is Cuba going, all this stuff that, I, that might be helping you. Well guys, this is for me today and I really hope you liked this video. If you like it, you know how it works. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the like button to help me with the YouTube algorithm and talk to you guys in the next video. Chao pescado y a la vuelta picadillo. Nos vemos mi gente, los quiero, los quiero. Remember also that you can get my Cuba guides are the link down below, my services, all the things, all the things, all this things that are going to be helping you once you decide traveling to Cuba.